Hey guys, it's your girl Shalane. I'm back today with a third stimulus check update video. Happy Friday. I don't know why I got dressed up on Friday when all week I've been coming to you guys in t-shirts, but hey, I am so happy. Cheers to the freaking weekend. In today's video, we're going to discuss the third stimulus check as well as the possible timeline on when we may receive it. We're also going to talk about unemployment and unemployment fraud. Then we have social security for those that are still waiting for their social security. And then we also have student loans, hazard pay, and more, my darling. So if you wanna know what is going on in the lovely world of stimulus, you already know what to do. Stay tuned, your girl's got you covered. Now, if this is your first time tuning into my channel, hi, hello, hey, friends. My name is Shalay, and here on this channel, we talk about shopping, saving, and everything in between. I would love to have you a part of my internet family. Super easy. Click the big old red subscribe button down below when you're in, just like, that and while you're at it go ahead and give me a like because you love me bringing this content to you each and every single day and i enjoy doing it now guys this friday which i know some of y'all have gotten paid okay for those that haven't purchased the ebook the planner the lipstick but i have opened my march calendar so if you want to work with me one-on-one -on -one to build your brand to build your business or just even pick my brain the slots are available now they don't last long go ahead and get filled in or penciled in for march all right, so let's go ahead and talk about it. When are we supposed to get this $1,400 stimulus check? As of right now, Nancy Pelosi has given a timetable for the House vote. So House Speaker Nancy Pelosi said that the Democrats are planning to vote by the end of February. Now, I told you guys they said they were going to do it on Monday. Now they're saying they're going to do it by next Friday on President Joe Biden's $1.9 trillion bill. The proposal we know will get $1,400 to stimulus checks to Americans, $400 weekly unemployment to August 29th, and then increase the minimum wage by $15 per hour to, by 2025. Now, the Democrats right now are hoping to pass the legislation before March 14th. That's the day that the $300 weekly unemployment benefits expire on there. Now, the timeline added to the lawmakers desire to use the whole reconciliation process and expedited consideration such as spending, taxes and debt. They're saying as of right now, it could come by mid-March. They estimate that direct deposit checks will be sent out the week of March 22nd. Paper checks will go out the week of March 29th because right now the IRS is still processing tax returns and it could take longer to send out the stimulus checks depending on what the IRS has going on. But they're saying the week, the week of March 22nd can be the possible date for direct deposit. They haven't opened up the portal. They haven't said about changing anything. They didn't say anything about SSI or VA or railroad retirement. Direct deposit, March 22nd. Paper checks, March 29th. So that's the latest update. Now moving along, a lot of taxpayers may actually be victims of unemployment fraud and the IRS wants to help you. So right now, a lot of people are getting their 1099 Gs or they're receiving their tax forms and they realize that, hey, they've been a victim of unemployment fraud. So we talked about this, that there's been a mass of unemployment fraud from incarcerated people filling out information to rappers, you know it, we've talked about it, right? But as of right now, the criminals have stolen identities and they, the IRS launched a website for victims of unemployment related identity fraud. So they said, if you have been scammed, then you need to go in there and fill out your information. Now they're not gonna make you pay the debt so if there is going to be like a debt accrued for it, you don't have to pay the money, but there are still certain measures that you need to take according to the IRS. So you need to call them, report the fraud. You also need to call the state agency like your Department of Labor and let them know that, hey, this 1099G is not you and give the state time to investigate. And it's a whole list of things. So hopefully none of you guys have been a victim of unemployment fraud, but if you have, there are some measures that you can go on. Move on, more than 12,000 Wisconsinites, I think I said that right, are awaiting the status of their social security disability applications. So I've been looking into the $200 per month social security and as of right now, there is no update about it. I get asked that question on a daily basis. President Joe Biden is like, look, right now it is not a priority. I am trying to get the stimulus checks. I'm trying to get the unemployment, 10,000 student loan, minimum wage. Not that it's, you know, my issue. I'm not being mean, 
But that's what he said. He said it's not a priority right now for the $200 per month on there. So as of right now, several news outlets have investigated the Social Security disability in Wisconsin and the regional Social Security officer out of Chicago said that there are approximately 12,000 Wisconsinites awaiting the status of their disability benefits application. So according to Social Security advocates, clients with the application process, he said, hey, he's been working there for 15 years. It only takes you a few hours to fill out the paperwork. But you know, and I know you can wait six months, 12 months before you are approved, but the pandemic has complicated things. As of right now, he said 25% of the claims that they're receiving are mental and mood disorders. And it's a he said it's a devastating thing. But he said with the isolation going on, it makes it hard for them to create a support system, as well as they said, as of right now, wait times are just high. So he said, if you are a person that's applying for disability benefits, you can help with the application process by providing a complete information of your physical and mental conditions, including your treatment history and any treating sources, hospitals, doctors, clinics, and copies of your medical records that you have in possession on there. They said, as of right now, it still may take a decision of a year or so, but if you are awaiting the approval of your social security, you're just going to have to wait. Now they are having some hearings that are being done by zoom as well if you go to the social security administration website they still can conduct different hearings by zoom so that's what we have going on that's the only information i can find regarding social security now today guys 17 state attorney generals call for the canceling of the fifty thousand dollars in student loan debt so we know probably i think it was on tuesday or wednesday night Joe Biden was on CNN and he pretty much at that time admitted that it was not going to be a $50,000 student loan repayment or it wasn't coming from him. He said, look, I'm going to give y'all $10,000. That's about it. I didn't say anything about 50,000. I don't recall him saying an amount, but I was just leaning towards that he was going to pay 50,000. But the coalition of 17 state attorney generals is calling for the cancellation of 50,000 in federal student loan debt for borrowers. So as of right now, this is being led by New York Attorney General Letitia James and Massachusetts Attorney General Mara Healy. They sent a letter to the congressional leaders today on there that, hey, can President Joe Biden use his an executive action to forgive the outstanding student loans? Now, the letter stated here, the existing repayment system for the student loans provide insufficient opportunity for struggling borrowers to manage their debts of the current economic crisis. Now on there, they said by canceling the federal student loan debt, it will provide immediate relief to millions who are struggling in this pandemic and the recession and give a much needed boost to families and the economy. The letter also noted that borrowers with student loan debt before the pandemic and that the people of color were one of the main people that have been affected by it. They said the letter comes as progressive increase public pressure on Biden to cancel this $50,000. And he said at the CNN town hall that, I think that was on Tuesday, that it would just be $10,000. Hey, I'm happy to get something, right? Like, at this point, you know, I haven't seen where any other president has been able to push any student loan repayment. Heck, the student loan forgiveness, that is just another, you know, program that rarely actually happens. So if he can get $10,000, I like it. I don't know. Let me know what you think about the student loan that down in the comments below now if you are in alabama my hometown state as of right now elmore county school employees get a second bonus so the elmore county school employees will receive a hazard pay bonus and this will be for current full-time employees they will get 500 dollars part-time employees will get 250 dollars as a payment of their prospective services to be rent rendered for the remaining of the semester the services include additional cleaning in response to the influenza concerns on there. Now, according to the state officials, employees are also providing additional emotional support for those impacted by the pandemic. The Board of Education said they show employees the value of the services that they will provide to the students, the parents, and the stakeholders in the communities. So the full time on there, the employees received their first bonuses in December. They got $220 in full time employees and then $110 for part time employees. And they approved the incentive pay on Tuesday night. And don't forget, today 
Um, Maryland, those $300 to $500 checks actually go out in the mail today as well, which they do have where you can check online. California is still pending, but you could check the status if you qualify for the California $600 stimulus payments. And then next week, Michigan will have their payments as well. So that's all that we have right now, guys, in the news for the Michigan. It's the hazard pay for the employees as well. And I think in Georgia, um, they were doing theirs for the teachers as well this week or next week. So a lot of people are getting money. I'm not one of them. So <laughs> I know it's just a bad day. Hey, it's Friday. So that's all we have going on. Let me know down in the comments. What do you think about the student loan? What do you think about the stimulus checks coming the week of March 22nd? Possibly, allegedly, not for sure. What do you think about the $200 social security? As well as are you looking to start your, bills, your own business? build a business, get on YouTube, maybe just pick my brain. If you answer yes to any of those and you haven't purchased my ebook, you might want to start there first, but also go ahead and book a one hour session. And when I tell you, I don't take any excuses. I don't take any excuses. You want a business, my darling. It is my job to get that business started. So go ahead and book your session and I will see you tomorrow. Bye guys. Enjoy your weekend as well, okay? Don't, don't be worried about the stimulus. Enjoy your weekend and pray for Texas. Thank you, guys.